Hello everyone, my name is JJ. What do you think of my new haircut? I must say it feels nice to look like a normal person after so many years of looking like, well, a Muppet. Anyway, today we are gonna talk about secret pictures on money. This is a hot topic in both Canada and the United States, but unfortunately it's also mostly just lies and nonsense, but at least they are fun lies and nonsense. First, let us talk about the most famous thing of all, the weird pyramid on the back of the American $1 bill. Now, if you are like me, you probably grew up hearing that the pyramid was some sort of Masonic symbol. The Masons are an international men's group that have been historically associated with all sorts of crackpot conspiracy theories like that they secretly run the US government. But even among non-crackpots, the idea that the pyramid on the back of the US $1 bill has some sort of Masonic significance is an idea that has a lot of mainstream currency. Some fun. Because it is in fact objectively true that a lot of the founding fathers were themselves Masons, so I guess it seems plausible that they must have crammed at least one Masonic symbol somewhere. On the website of the US Treasury Department, however, which actually has a fact about this, they don't mention any Masonic Masonic connections at all. They just give the standard government answer, which is that the pyramid logo, which is actually called the Great Seal of the United States, was simply a brand new design created to represent the United States in 1782, with the triangle eyeball representing God and the unfinished pyramid representing the general project of building the United States. So who is correct here? Well, I went to the library and consulted some books by actual Masons, whose perspective on these sorts of questions you don't tend to hear very often. And and what the Masonic historians say is that the eyeball pyramid thing is not, in fact, one of their symbols. But, they add, a lot of Masons back in the day liked to take credit for it. Because it made them seem that much more powerful and glamorous if everyone assumed they had that kind of pull with the Founding Fathers. The idea that Masons themselves would have an interest in promoting Masonic conspiracy theories is an important point we often forget. It is true that the 18th century Masons did use a eyeball in a triangle as a symbol for God in their art and stuff, but so did a lot of people at that time, including the arch enemies of the Masons, the Catholics. The three sides of the triangle represent the Trinity, see, and the eyeball represents the fact that God is always snooping. The US $5 bill has its share of conspiracy theories too. For instance, for a long time people have been convinced that the bushes on the back contain secret numbers. Here, can you find any? Most people tend to spot some threes or twos or sevens if they look long and hard enough. No one has come up with a consistent or persuasive theory about what these numbers supposedly mean, but it can't just be a coincidence, right? Well, yeah, it can. Much more legitimate hidden text is the name of the 26 states that are hidden in the roof of the Lincoln Memorial. But this isn't actually that much of a secret since those names are also on the real roof of the real Lincoln Memorial in real life. Some people also think there's something suspicious about how wrongly drawn this shadow over here is. I mean, where is it coming from? And then you've got your real nuts who are convinced that there is hidden text in President Lincoln's beard on the front. Can you see it? Popular guesses include sex and of course, 666. Speaking of weird presidential body parts, the obscure $2 bill has a good one. So on the back, we have good old Thomas Jefferson standing behind a table. But one of his legs behind the table doesn't match up properly with his torso. If you try to draw the obscured part yourself, you are left with a real abomination. Some people also think you can see the face of Satan in the flag thing behind John Adams, but mm -hmm. that seems like a bit of a stretch even by crackpot standards. But I'll tell you an easier place to see the face of Satan, the queen's hair on the old Canadian money. See, when Queen Elizabeth first came to the throne in 1952, Ottawa unveiled this whole new line of bills with her face on them. <laughs> And pretty soon a whole bunch of people were like, hey, I see the face of Satan in our lovely queen's beautiful hair. Can you see it? It's supposed to be like here. This, believe it or not, was actually controversial enough for the government to change the look of her hair in subsequent reprintings. The conspiracy thinking at the time had less to do with the idea that the queen herself was in league with the devil and more that the evil Canadian government was trying to discredit the queen with their satanic imagery. In reality, the devil's hair was just a byproduct of the photo that the money picture was based on. It was the lighting in the original photograph that caused the devil looking shadows in her hair, which the money artist faithfully reproduced. But as the years went on, 
Canadians became less obsessed with conspiracies against the royal family and more obsessed with conspiracies about the evil Americans. In 1986, the Canadian government made these new bill designs and a certain faction soon became obsessed with this part here, the tiny little flags flying over the Canadian parliament buildings. If you looked really closely, they said, you could see that it was not the Canadian flag, but the evil American flag. Oh no, that traitor Mulroney was selling out the country to old man Reagan, blah, 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 80s left-wing paranoia. In reality, the tiny flag was this flag, the red ensign, the old flag of Canada, which of course we learned all about in one of my previous videos. The government was trying to add a bit of historical flair to our money, but since everyone went so nuts about it, in subsequent reprintings, they just changed it to a maple leaf. Canadians, am I right? Anyway, those are all the weird money things that I know about. If you know any rumors or conspiracy theories about hidden pictures in the money of any country in the world, let me know in the comments below. I don't care if they're true or false. Eh, who am I kidding? They're all false.